New stickers that we oh, dropped today. Oh, you're not supposed to see that. Those are the uh, w uh, nail sliders, the water decal that will be coming out soon. So this is the fairy tale princess, and we got Snow, uh, Snow White. We got the Ice Queen, the Snow Queen. We got the Little Mermaid. We have Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland. And this one is called the Pink Details. Very, very Gen Z. Very fun, very cute for the fantasy. This is Love the Flowers. Very beautiful, almost 3D kind of flowers. Look at that. So stunning. This is Hit Madonna. So we got some... This one, it was inspired by like a combination of like old and new art. So we have like street art, like in, in regards to the graffiti, plus the art on top of the already existing. Like we have the Venus de Milo, we have Madonna, and I just wanted to have fun with this one. Michelangelo, this is very dope, very funky. And then we have Cry Baby, because the girls love them some naughty stuff on the phalanges. Nothing too crazy, but she's very millennial. She's very SJW, bad girl fantasy. Ugh, obsessed. I love this one. She's so cool. And then next is Give Me Milk. We got some little kitty cats for the fantasy. Look at that. And it has like a whole bunch of random sayings, which is what makes it really cool. What do you guys think? This is so dope. And then we have Generation Pink. All the things that the Millennials and the Gen Z, Gen X people love nowadays. So cute, right? And they're all available now on the website for the snatching. And let me show you really quickly again the two new bits. This is the verse bit. Next is the power top bit. This is the one I'm going to be using today as well. I love the power top bit. Power top bit is actually very similar to um, the pink carrot bit, except the pink carrot bit is made out of zirconia ceramic. Power top is made out of tungsten steel. So for the shape today, we're going to be using the XXL Sculpted Square. Yesterday, I sized it kind of more bulky. Today, I want to size it a little bit more skinny. So yesterday, I used a zero on my thumb. Today, I'm just going to use a one, so that way I have a little bit more of a skinny square. But still, very, very straight skinny sidewalls, okay? I already have a peel-off base coat on my nail. I'm going to do a coat of press-on gel for the base, because remember, it's very important we have base. Why? Because when you do the advanced technique of the one 2 3 go application, you don't apply the nail all the way to the back. Why? Because we want a little bit of space in order for us to be able to blend out the line of demarcation and really give that cuticle a um, sculpted look, if you will, okay? Oh, show the Halloween stickers. Okay, okay, sorry, I forgot. So, you can order these now. Why did I decide to launch Halloween and Christmas stickers in July? Answer is because I know I know my people and we don't want to be shipping out Halloween or Christmas merch last minute because then you're gonna be like, oh my god, I need it now, I need it now, and then it's good there's gonna be delays, all that stuff going on. So I was like, you know what, let's launch it now so that way the girls can be prepared. So that way when the time comes, she is ready to rock and roll. So there are five sheets per pack of uh, the holiday themed uh, packages. And these are a one-time print only, and if they do well, we probably will come up with another print for another set for the holiday season, but uh, we don't want to launch it too close to the holiday season because then with delays and things like that, and you know, with my luck, and I don't want anybody to get jinxed or anything like that, so I was like, let's launch it now so that way everybody has enough time to get what they need. So there's five sheets. So this is a very like traditional Halloween design, very cute. This one's very soft, very fun. Stuff that you can incorporate with different stickers as well too, which is so important. I love me a good little double teddy bear too, so adorable. And sugar skulls. 
Remember, super limited stock with these, okay? And then this is the Christmas one. Some icy fun stuff. I love this one, so sweet. And then of course we had to do snowflakes in hologram. So turn the thumb upside down. Just to let that gel stuff level out, okay? And then we're gonna bake it for about 30 seconds. One will flash out 163 uh, pink time will be back in stock. In the upcoming weeks, I can't give you an exact date because I don't have that with me right now. But as soon as it is back in stock, we will definitely be posting it on all of our social media so that way everybody can get a bottle. Love them all. Definitely gonna get the holiday stickers. They're so dope and they're so much fun. I didn't want to do anything that was like uh, either like borderline uh, too religious or uh, anything that deals with the occult or anything like that. We wanted to keep it light and fun and, you know, cute. So we're gonna use, of course, clear DIY gel. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly the difference between the newer packaging and the first generation packaging. So this is the first generation DIY gel. This is the second generation DIY gel. So this is what you guys will be getting when you order it. This is the new packaging. This one, as far as I know, in the US, she's all sold out. Take my money, she said. Yes, they are. That is correct. I had peel off base coat so that way I can take these phalanges off when I am done uh, taking pictures. So we are going to apply a nice amount of clear press on gel on the inside. I know you girls have been loving the pink DIY gel as well too. Remember, leave a tiny little bit of space at the cuticle area. Needs a little bit more gel. Get our flashy ready as well, too. What don't we love? Well, there are some products that don't do so well. You know, some things are hit or miss. Um, and we are making more room for newer things. I'm trying to think one thing that is discontinued recently. Oh! The souffle gels in like uh, sweet pink and the white one and all those. Vanilla. They didn't sell very well. Unfortunately. They were really cool though, but <laughs> nobody wants builder gels. We only want the one, two, three, go, and of course our acrylic line, which is so sickening. A little bit on the inside. Max, I love everything you come out with, but definitely love the sculpted. I can't see. Hold on one second. Oh. Just being insubordinate tonight. And plus my nails, my real nails are super grown out too. I need to fill them. Take it for one minute. Sculpted coffin gel. So much fun doing them as well with my girls. Awesome. Oh, somebody sent me stars. Thank you. I appreciate that. Antonia's here! Absolutely love all your products, thank you!
you guys have any plans for the weekend? Other than visiting enocouture.com and snatching up them products, them phalanges. I thought I shared the video. Why is it not? So if you have a, a little bit of space here, for me it's not a big deal because I'm going to take it off. But what you would do is you would put in more either DIY gel or press on gel. I would do press on gel with a little brush and just pack it in. But it, that happened because I didn't apply enough gel. But it's okay because I'm going to be taking it off anyway. Hi Max, finally made it. Hi love. Hi from Jackson, Michigan. I think I have all the one, two, three, go clear and painted. She's ready to go. No, hopefully your distributor will get everything soon. Hey, hi mama. I got stars, thank you! Foot fracture. Oh, I hope you have the speed of recovery, love. Do you have a cover blush gel polish? I do! If you want something a little bit more on the softer side, check out the A-Pink line. The A-Pink line is a 3-in-1 gel line. It is a base coat, it is a nail strengthener, a rubber base coat, and a color. So that's what I have on these. This is A-Pink number three, which is a beautiful color. And it's a bottom chick. Where is my file? Where did Gloria put my file? So I can shake this thumb. Gloria's always moving everything. Make sure the sides are nice and straight. Don't taper them because we want to keep that very, very square shape that the kids love nowadays. Look at that sea curve, you guys. So dope. Look at that shape. Nice and square. Let's take the power top fit. And we're gonna blend out the line of demarcation. Awesome, I hope you love everything. Can't help myself. He plays guitar and he didn't want to lose it. That's awesome. So I'm going to take the power top bit. We're going to take our machine at about 17,000 RPM and we're going to blend out this line of demarcation here. That's why I personally don't apply the nail all the way to the back because I don't want it to look necessarily press on y if you will. I want it to look a lot more sculpted, like if it was a acrylic or a gel nail, sculpted out of a nail form. And by doing this, it really does. And that's why I do the base coat first. So that way I'm able to go in and look at that. It looks just like a sculpted nail, you guys. This Fergie. Never heard the song in my life. Let's go in with a smoothie buffer and remove the shine off the top surface of the nail. 
I know the movie Milk Money with Melanie Griffin, that's a terrible movie as well too. So boring. Nice and super square. That's what the kids love nowadays. Beautiful. Let's remove the dust. And then for the color, we're gonna use a pink number three, which is a bottom chick. It is probably the perfect nude, it really is. And for every skin color, you guys, super fair to super deep, warm tone, cool tone. I have not seen a person that doesn't look good in a pink number three. And we're going to apply it over the entire nail and right there where we have the contact area between the new phalange and the natural nail, the extension and the natural nail. Did anybody see the opening ceremony for the Olympics? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see how they were. Look at that. It looks just like a sculpted nail, you guys. Isn't that so sick? I'm gonna take a little liner brush and make sure that cuticle is super clean. Beautiful, look at that. And then turn the hat upside down and just let it self level out for a few seconds. Beautiful, let's bake it for 30 seconds now. Just like a sledgehammer. Hi, Max, hi. What movie was boring? Mm, what movie was boring? I don't know. I heard the new Space Jam movie is terrible though. The new stickers you shared today are so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. You're gonna love them. No, I missed them. Hola, Max. Que color rosa, por favor. Se llama A Pink Número 3. The color of pink that we are rocking today is A Pink Number 3. Literally, the perfect name, you guys. And on top of that, we're going to use BB48 like a topper. This color is made with flakes of glitter, mica, fantasy, realness. Look at that, just to give the nail a little something something, okay? A nice little thin coat. Just so that nude has a little sparkle to it. And keep it super thin on the sides, okay? And then let's pick it for 30 seconds. And then we're going to apply a super thin layer of shiny gel on top because remember when you put shiny gel on the nail and you cure it for 30 seconds, it almost creates a rubber texture base. So that way these stickers cling to the nail like crazy and you get a beautiful finish. Just like a sledgehammer. Do you guys remember the three essential tools for when doing sticker work? Let me know in the comments below if you guys remember the three essential tools when we use stickers on the phalanges. Oh! Milk Money! Milk Money with Melanie Griffin was terrible. And then we're gonna do that super thin coat of shiny, okay? Very, very thin. Wipe the brush dry, literally and then go over the nail again. We'll remove any excess. We don't want to build out any shape. We don't want to add width or anything like that. We just want to coat the nail so that way it has that rubbery texture. A few seconds upside down. And then we're gonna freeze it for 30 seconds. So for the thumb, I think we might do the ice queen. What do you guys think? 
because that's the only one that we're missing. I made it just in time before it's over. So pretty, I love that. Twi tweezers, scissors, and the silicone tool, correct. Right now it will feel just like a sledge. I know, I was like, how did the Olympics start? And I know that the U.S. women's soccer team lost already, but I mean, we won't talk about that because I don't mind them losing because they don't seem like very nice people. So we're going to use Elves. The, we're we're going to use the Ice Queen, the Snow Queen, for the thumb. So this one she's facing this way. So this one she needs to face that way. Very carefully peel her off because you don't want to rip her or anything like that. And if you do, it's okay. If you watch the Instagram one, I accidentally ripped Alice a little bit and she was fine because I put a little bit of nail prep on top. So this is the Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen, no copyright infringement intended. And then very firmly begin to make sure there are no bubbles, okay? Is this Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen? Beautiful, look at her. And then it'll be a little secret, you guys. We'll just tell everybody that uh, we painted this, we were up all night painting. Me gustaron mucho los stickers nuevos, están re lindos. They're beautiful. Hi Max, love your nails and thank you for having time to show us, uh, show us and looks easy to do on my own nails. Bless you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's really sweet of you. Fair is fair. That's right. That is correct, A pink number three. So now we're gonna get some other stickers and just create a composition on the thumb. So let's see where they are. Can I put them back in the book of the spells, the book of the arts? Those sticker books are really cool, you guys. They are a lifesaver. So we're going to add some of the Snow White flowers, maybe some Baroque, not the English roses, some blue butterflies, and then a gold element because all of them have a one little gold element to them. So let's add... Should we add a gold castle to the to the ice queen? She's not a princess, she's an ice queen. And the fairy no. Not the uh the head either. Let's do a little castle. A castle in the background for the ice queen. No, no. Dije que las siete y media se vinieran. Beautiful. And then let's add a blue butterfly. Before we add the 
flowers. some of these beautiful white flowers to the nail. When you get close to the edge, just take your scissor and give her a little trim. Because remember, you guys never apply the sticker too close to the edge because that will make her peel and we don't want her to go anywhere, okay? How beautiful she is, you guys. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. And then let's do a little white heart. Outline. Beautiful. And then we're gonna add some glitter, we're gonna add some Prisma. Before we do that, make sure everything is nice and laid down smoothly. So as you guys can see, I'm using Force and our stickers because they are such high quality, American, manufactured quality. You don't have to worry about anything peeling or bleeding or anything like that. We're gonna take nail prep and what this is going to do is it's gonna melt the edge of the sticker. And if you have any little, um, folds in it, it's okay. This will smooth everything out, okay? Give that a few seconds to dry. Put our stickers away. And then we're going to take a little bit of shiny and we're going to do a layer of shiny over the top nail, okay? Super thin because this is what we're going to use to adhere the glitter to the nail. Very, very thin. Then I'm gonna take my vegan liner brush. And then we've got some Prisma here. I actually have some that spilled on my rubber mat, which is great because when something falls on the rubber mat, you guys, literally, you can just pick it up and apply. Every drop of glitter counts, or every speck of glitter counts. How beautiful she is. 
Somebody asked. You painted her by hand. All night. What'd you do, Max Friday? We spent five hours painting our thumb with the Snow Queen on. Gel that run to the sides. Beautiful. And we're gonna freeze her for 30 seconds because we're gonna finish with a nice frosting of Wonder Gel. Let me look at the comments really quickly. The girls are saying many of what is D5 from him is little more like from. Anderson first, that is correct. Let's see why can I not see the new comments? Ah, geez, technology work for me. in with a nice layer of wonder gel now and when we put the wonder gel on the nail we literally want to float it on okay like we're frosting a cake frost on the wonder gel that shiny we did kind of rough wonder gel we do nice and smooth Perfect surface. Turn the head upside down for about 10 seconds and we're gonna let it self level up before we cure it for a minute. That's right, the flashy gel, flashy lamp is only to freeze the nails, not to cure it. There we go, look at that. So beautiful. So let's bake this down for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. It looks so cool into the lamp too. Thank you, I appreciate that, that's really sweet. I'm super proud of these stickers, and also all the cheeky ones too, I really love me a good naughty nail. And the new like millennial stuff is really cool too, people really like it. <laughs> Finally one with the, uh, uh, the bad words and really bold, these are really cute too, I love it. seconds I was gonna tag you in that one actually but I didn't know if that would be appropriate or not but I think you're ready for that sticker and look at that so beautiful do you guys love it
So if somebody asks, how long did it take to uh, paint these by hand? You just say all night. Can you see how that wonder gel really makes it look 3D? Focus camera. Ugh, this is truly a masterpiece, you guys. I love this set. If I wore nails, I would wear nails that look like this, I think. And the shape is so beautiful, too. Man, my hands look really long. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit the website, enocouture.com, for all the new stuff that we just dropped today. And I promise no one will things tomorrow. Next week, I can't promise that, but you know me. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for choosing and supporting American companies like enocouture.com. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.